Hey guys, it's been a while. Um, it's been a long time, over three months, I think. Um, yeah, what have I been doing? Well, working my ass off is what I've been doing. Um, work's been crazy, absolutely crazy. Um, and then things around here, and I just don't get time to film. I just don't. I think about it and then I get stuck in and I'm like, how the hell would I actually achieve anything and film it as well? And um, the two ends just don't meet and I'm like, something's gotta give. Um, I, haven't, I haven't even worked on, on a saw really in that time, maybe one or something like that, two. Um, just because it's, it's a time consuming thing and I've got to do other stuff basically. But anyway, aside from all that, I'm actually doing really well. Um, a lot of good things going on and um, yeah, I'm pretty stoked about I'm pretty stoked about that. So I'll show you around, I'll show you what I've been doing with the, um, with the shed and um, we'll go from there. So, as you can see out there, there's my girl. There's my Echo. Her puppies. What's she doing, girl? This is Echo. She is a, just over, just over one. One year old, a German Shepherd. She's a beautiful girl. Hey Gil, what are you doing? She's actually sitting out here on the driveway waiting for mum to get back. She's a really cool dog. Just a puppy though, about 37 kgs. Still a puppy, still acts like a nutty puppy. So, um, I built a garden shed kind of ran short on a bit of money with a few things you know upgrade to surge systems and bits and other pieces that we had to do so my big big shed and plans for that went by the way so I got a garden shed uh, so I can move things into here and at the moment I'm on holiday at the moment so this is just like I finished this like a week ago now the door's not opening Oh, something's blocking. So I finished this like a week ago, maybe. So I've just, I built some shelves and pretty much just jammed a bunch of stuff in there. This was all in the garage. This shed's about 10 square, square meters or so. So anyway, I'll close that up. So yeah, that's... This is the compromise because we ran out of money basically to build a big shed for me. Uh, it's all good. It's all good. It's just the way it goes. So there's Echo. I just love this dog. She's such a good girl. What you got in your nose? She's got a beautiful nature. Great with the kids. Loves her family. Wants to be around people all the time. Will absolutely, at the same time, tear limb from limb anyone that she doesn't like that comes in here. She just sits there. She's on guard all the time. People freak out when they, they see her. She's like full of just barks and nuts off. But she's my buddy. Hey. Good girl. Yeah, good girl. Waiting for mummy. Who's mummy? Who's mummy? Mum and the kids going off for a swim at a friend's place. So we've got a ride on. My boy has named this ride on Murray. Um, and, uh, <laughs> 
he likes to name everything. Even our whereabouts. Who called um, Barry and Kerry. Funny is. So I've been, as you know, I used to have my workbench down here where Murray is sitting basically. Um, there's the cupboards. Usually you don't see those because the steel banner at the top is rolled down. Now let's see, I've got another one as well. Just working out where what I'm going to do with those because they need to go up. Um, so yeah, I've got a few saws here to fix and bits and pieces. Everything is just a shambles at the moment because I'm I'm tidying stuff, I'm organising, I'm slowly getting everything into where it needs to be. Um, so things like scrub cutter hanging up through there, um, building tools, bits and pieces. This guy's axe there, I love that axe. Um, there's a, a MS250 here that I'm going to be building. I've got to fix this post hole borer. I've actually got a pole saw in my ute there. I've got a pole saw that I need to um, sort out as well. Post hole borer. Um, there's six, six parts here. Just there's just garbage everywhere at the moment. So I like I am actually a joiner by trade, so um, I have joinery tools, and I'm just sort of moving them out and getting them sorted. This is an old tanner thicknesser. Um, good good machine. Um, I'm looking forward to using that along with my buzzer over there. Buzzer planer. Um, got a sander linisher over here. That's gonna that's gonna move up to about here where the post hole borer is. I'm actually gonna build a wall across here as well. Um, it's basically gonna go from here along the back of this along the back of this bench here. So I'll move the bench over, build the wall. And the wall's going to go up to about where the garage door ends and then and it's going to shoot across over and go just this side of the light switches here and put a door in so that we can get, build some shelves in here we've got to have another freezer so we've got another freezer to put in here um, for the cows when they get slaughtered and basically end up tidying up all of this wash area so that we can use it you know so so that um it's a bit tidier, I mean, look, look at the sawdust everywhere already. So, basically we're going to tidy it up. Um, it's going to be like a, a 3 by 2 wall, ply cladded, just basic. But I mean, it's all good. So I've been setting things up, tidying things up in the... In the um, Trying to sort out shelves and how I want to have everything. That's pretty much done at the bottom and there too. Um, sorting out. Today I just built these brackets up in the wall. For um, all my clamps to go on. Um, ABP. Love that saw. So up here I've got sort of two-stroke fuels. I've been smash. I just bought this the other day and I've smashed through heaps of it with a brush cutter. We'll go for a walk. We'll go for. We'll make this a bit of a video since Mum's out. We'll, we'll make this a bit of a video, and we'll go for a walk and show you a few things that I've been doing out, out on the property as well. Um, so anyway, so fuel containers. That that's one that carries bar oil as well. We've got our um, oils and lubricants here. And then I got a big. I bought for Christmas. I bought Murray a big fuel container because we were using five liters fuel fuel containers, and he takes five liters to fill every time. He does. He's thirsty. Um, so yeah, definitely need that twenty liter for him. Um, parts cleaner. Uh, please again, please ignore the mess. I am trying to sort stuff. I really am. Um, but this is going to be my main. 
saw working bench. As you can see, I've um, started sorting out things. I've got a light up there. I've got to turn it on. My mum got me this for Christmas. I just love that home. It's got a doggy paw print for Echo. Really cool. I'm, I want to put that by the front door, but I want to put it on a big ring of wood and set it into there. Um, and make it look really nice. Um, ugh, that fluorescent makes it the, uh, the old light a bit um, wobbly there. The camera a bit wobbly. But anyway, so yeah, toolbox um, and all my lubricants there and everything like that. Compressor under there. Uh, boxes of chainsaw parts. Um, more chainsaw parts, more chainsaw parts. Uh, we've actually got our water filtration system sitting behind there as well. You can see that it's got a, it's got a UV light um, in there. Um, it kills all the bacteria and then, and then the filters for the water, the rainwater that comes off. Um, yeah. That's, it. that's taped up at the moment because that's the warning thing for the flood on our sewage system but I don't think it's quite right it's not it's not working right so I've taped up to mute it because it keeps on going off all the time like in the middle of the night it's driving me crazy but this January we're gonna having like a five or six thousand dollar upgrade to our sewage system so hopefully that all will go away with that that's part of the reason why I'm not getting a garage because of that kind of thing. Um, I'm going to use these bits of boards for shelving and stuff like that. I've already used one bit down there. You can see on the saws there. Four six, Frank, six six at the back there. Three six one. Uh, o two O. My Zito back there, and my Makita. Skill saw, 311, 60cc in there. Someone's using my 026 at the moment, um, so that's the why it's not there. Usually, usually there'd be two of these boxes there. Um, there's some ducting and stuff for for the sucker I've got. To um, this has been wrapped up at ages. I've got to take I've got to take all this stuff off, get the, all the stuff working and cranking. You know, set up the sander properly and yeah. It's going to be so cool this is actually my dad's thicknesser um, and so I've pretty much he's pretty much given that to me um, so I'm pretty stoked about that I, I'm gonna clean all that up and make sure it's all nice again all these machines need a good going over and before they are put back into service and I've got plenty of fresh blades to put on them and things like that so I'm really as a joiner by trade, I'm really looking forward to um, being able to use the machines of my trade and, and build some stuff. I'm already got things I'm going to do with um, like some shelving and stuff like that in my boys closets. Um, that, that's just simple stuff, you know. Dress, I'm going to dress a lot of rough saw and wood and, and build some cool shelves for their clothes and bits and pieces and stuff like that. But yeah, so... That's what's basically happening with the shed. Um, don't need that light on anymore. It's so hot here today. Basically been sitting inside with the aircon going. I think it's like 29, 30 degrees Celsius here. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. There's the girl. You're waiting for mum, girl. Come on, up, up. Let's go. Scratching yourself. Come on. Let's go for a walk. Hey. What you doing? Go, go. Go. Go, go, go. been uh, on the front lawn here we put up a um, little badminton net it's not very high but 
that's fun. We have a have a play. My brother got that for us. Um, in front of the house, that's where we live. That's um, sort of got a lounge in there, and it's got a, like a like a home theater. It's got a projector and stuff like that. And there's another lounge in there, and then further back is the kitchen. Um, I love this place. It's 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 perfect for us. It really is. Fruit trees. We've had a hard season with fruit this year. We haven't got anything off our trees yet, and they're just like so gutted. But we think we really need to fertilise them some more and just do some more with them um, to get them cranking. And hopefully we will. But we've got everything in like these feijoas, uh, peaches, uh, citrus. Um, nectarines, peaches, apples, um, plums through here, through there, blueberries, um, passion fruit through there, uh, apple there, there's just, just everything. Um, there's a little fig tree even back through here. I had to build this aviary for my wife because, um, the other one fell over and she lost a lot of her birds. She used to have like 15 budgies and now there's hardly any in here. It's like just a few. Just a few. Can't even see. Oh. There's actually a bird up in, and it's fucking hard to focus on this wire, but there's a bird up in there. It's actually the grandmother of all these other birds. Um, because my wife loves breeding them. I'm hoping she's going to find the time to get back into it because she loves it. Um, then over the fence here, we have, I forget what that tree is, that one. No, that's a macadamia. I know that's a macadamia. That is a avocado under there, under the shade cloth. Um, that is black currant. Um, I can't remember what that one is. I can't remember. It's, I think it's a nut, some kind of nut. Maybe walnut or um, almond, maybe. I don't know. Bumper crop of um, the old passion fruit. My wife loves these. Absolutely awesome. Echo, come, come. What's she doing? <laughs> She's just sitting over there. Can you see her? Echo, come, come. Come on. Mum's come home soon. You come down here with me. She's like, I hear you, but I'm ignoring you. Um, underneath here, my wife turned the entire trampoline into a rabbit cage. She likes doing stuff like this. There is a black, big black rabbit there called Mangu, that's female, and then her son there. We're going to separate these two shortly so they don't breed. Mangu's just given us a big litter of rabbits. We sold them all, but my wife wants to keep the ginger one. Here's Mangu now. Hey Mangu. Echo actually is friends with these rabbits and um, they play games and they run around and chase each other and stuff like that and every morning I come out to um, go and check the chickens um, these rabbits run up to greet Echo. They are friends. Pups, are you going to come? Come on. Come, come. Are you just going to sit there? Come on, puppies. I thought we were going to come for a walk. It's so hot, she just can't be bothered. Come on. It's so hot. We've even got shade from these massive pine trees, but it's still just so hot. Especially when we get out to here. So... Wife's growing pumpkins and all sorts of things. She's got stuff set up everywhere. 
I just let her go for it, you know, whatever. Whatever she wants. Chickens, we've got chickens now. These three guys. So the two red ones are Highlines and that one's an Orpington. So the Orpingtons are egg and meat. They don't lay as much as the Highlines though. So we're roughly getting two to three eggs a day from them, which is enough for us. Um, we actually have four chickens. The other one's sitting here. She's brooding, so she's actually sitting on eggs at the moment. Um, but yeah, I made I made this chook house. Um, it's got like flashings on it. This plastic here to stop the weather getting in, basically through the through the cracks and joints and stuff like that. And then um, we've taken a perch out at the moment because we've sort of caged off an area for when she's sitting on chicks, so they're going to hatch and we caged off an area. But there's usually another perch goes across here. Yeah. Oh man, stinky. Wife just cleaned it out too. <laughs> That was there. So we've got um, ramp here, water, they get water out of there. The store can just, oops, sorry, the store can just slide up and down like that. It's got a bevel on the inside edge there. Lifts up and down, and the girls can get in and out like that. I think this one's called Red, and that one might be Cluck Norris, and that one's Mother Clucker, and I think we got Princess Leia inside there. Here's the girl, she's waiting for me. You ready to go? Go, go. Come on. Where are you going? Are you going back? I'm going this way. Come on. Oh, the guys, the boys have got a water slide at the moment as well. And um, they've got a sprinkler system they set up on that. And they slide down the hill. And we just today, we bought an inflatable, like inflatable air bed. We're gonna fill it with water and put it at the bottom. So you, when you slide down, you land on there on the ear bed, so that's going to be some fun. Looking forward to that. Down here, um, I brush cut all this. This is all like this top field here, it's all sort of overgrown. That needs mowing and brush cutting and stuff like that as well. Um, the field up the top is not too bad by that house there, that's sort of my neighbor's house. Um, so that'll be all right. Pipix, you coming? Here she comes. Good girl. Big pile of burn. Burn all that. Um, so yeah, Murray. I got a Murray and a motor on top of here. And uh, these are my firewood gums. They are eucalyptus. That one's getting massive. I don't know why this one's so big, but it loves it here. Mm, you can smell the eucalyptus. Cows don't want to eat them. My cows are over, over in here at the moment. They're actually right there. That's my girls. Scotch and fillet. So that's, an, that's actually the neighbor's section over there. There's an island here, we call it the island. And that's the, sort of the, over that's the end of our section and then the neighbor's section starts all up there. And that's just an empty lot and he's letting me graze up in there to keep the land a bit more tidier for him. 
So the girls go through and smash all that. It takes them about a couple of weeks, good couple of weeks to get through all that. <coughs> so yeah, I was on Murray riding around here the other day. Yesterday. I'm on holiday at the moment. Don't go back to work till 17th, which is nice. Three weeks off since Christmas. Now I've got all my rest of my um, eucalyptus is 10. I've got 10 all of them for firewood, real hardwood. And there, 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 you can see them. There, 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 all down here. <coughs> I've got to put some more mulch around them. I did put some mulch around them, but they need more. Keep that grass away from them. So yeah, I was riding around here on Murray the other day. It was a bit of fun. Mowing all this. And then this morning, I did some more brush cutting. And a brush cut sort of from where I'm standing now, all the way down there. There's London Plain there. London Plain there. My favorite trees. And it's our brush cut. You can see down there, I came up and did this whole section of hill as well. Just want to get rid of all the weeds and give the chance, the grass a chance to come through, especially if we're going to get some rain. Hopefully we're going to get some rain soon. Really need it. It's drying out. So yeah, that's pretty much what I've been up to. see the house back up there so sort of that black oh you can't see it that black fence up there where that house is that's the top of my section the paddock sort of continues around the back of my house these these pines over here are my neighbor's pines so that's right on the border of our section it's like a big oblong all the scrub here I've got to I've got to get rid of all that through there all those trees through there and this is like a wetlands area sometimes I chuck the cows in there and just let them go for it knock it all back because it does get pretty overgrown and they love going in there all the mud and everything they love it but we got some uh Swamp maples we put in here. It's suffering a bit at the moment actually. We need to get down here and chuck some mulch around them and ferns, New Zealand ferns there. Yeah. There's a this is a bunch of uh, blackberry, I just sprayed all this. There's gorse in there and all sorts of things in there. So I've just sprayed it all. I'll chop it all back, brush cut it all back. Be good. Echo! <whistles> Echo! She's gone in the swamp. Echo! There she, she is. Gone in the swamp. Let's go back and see her. Where she is. She's going to be stinky if she's gone in the swamp. This fence up here is my neighbor's property. Did you go in the swamp? Echo. Did you go in the swamp? You did. She's looking for poo gecko eggs. There was heaps of poo geckos here when we started, but. They're a pest bird that rip out all your trees and destroy your fruit trees, break branches off, everything. There's probably 40 of them here. Nesting all down in, in here. And um, so I send her through 
the swamp every now and then to eat all the eggs. She does a good good job of that. Hey pups. Good you. Go go. Go go go. She's not going very fast normally she normally I say that and she runs off. It's so hot. She's so fluffy. She'll want to go back inside in the econ after this. Yesterday it was so hot. When I breathed in it was like hot air. It's crazy. Yeah, but that's it guys that's it from me from now um i've still got a few saws and stuff i want to do eventually when i've caught up on a few things around here so there will be some more videos eventually but um yeah i, I just don't know when that will be um yeah that's a good question do I want to do more saws and everything like that? Do I want to make more videos? Absolutely. Do I have time for it? Not really. Is it still my passion? 100%. 100%. I love doing, I love doing saws. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. So thank you for those who have been faith, faithfully sticking with me through this downtime and um, Hopefully we can get on with a few more saw videos and things like that. And, um, yeah, we'll have some fun together again. Thanks for watching. Thanks for staying, um, staying with me and um, staying subscribed to the channel. There's definitely going to be some more to come. It's just a matter of when. Um, hopefully I get time over the next few months, a few long weekends coming up and stuff like that. I've got to dig in and uh, get some saw work done. So thanks guys and stay still for life and see you on the next one.